Here we are today at the National Coal Mining Museum for England. And what I want to talk about briefly today is this. It's an iconic symbol of coal mining throughout the years. And it was invented around about 1815 by a man called Humphrey Davy. The miners have used this for several things when it was invented in its early days. It was a very primitive version of what we're looking at today. The primitive version basically consisted of what you're looking at today, but it just consisted of this actually going over the top of the flame and how it works is that the flame cannot pass a hot enough flame through this to ignite gas that will be on the outside. Gas has been one of the most frightening things for miners throughout the years. When miners are mining coal, the process release, get, releases gas into the air. The gas it releases is methane. You might know it's as natural gas, you might be using it today to actually heat your tea when you get home. Now, the problem miners had before this were invented is that using the candle with a bare flame could ignite the gas, the gas could either burn or could explode. This was then invented and it actually took some of the dangers away from the miners. In its basic form, it consisted of a vessel filled with oil with a flame lit on there and like we said earlier, this would then go over the top. Now the problem with this is that the miners found that the light was very, very poor. The old lamps were easy to dismantle. So all the miner had to do to give himself some more light is take that off. The problem once he's taken this off, he's got the naked flame again. So eventually we've come to this. This is the modern mining lamp that miners have used for around about the last 30 or 40 years from when I've been mining. The lamp now has changed. It has the bonnets fixed in up at the top on top of the glass. To make sure everything's secure, it has got a gasket in to make sure when it's all assembled it will be totally tight. The bonnet on the top is only put on, not for decorative purposes, it's designed there to ensure that these bonnets, this uh, gauze, sorry, doesn't get damaged, allowing the flame out. Now that we've got glass over the top of the flame, as you can look here, you can see it gives far, far more light than what you would have if you just had the gauze over the top. The bottom of the lamp, which consists of this, where you've got your actual fuel, you've now got that that sits in top of here. So what we've got, we've got your bonnet, in goes the gauze. This has also got another gasket on the top, so we said it actually makes sure it's safe. A gasket goes in at the bottom, this then goes over the top of where we're gonna have our flame, and we now screw this together. This was always done when we worked at the coal mines by a man called the lamp man. The lamps were really well looked after. When you come in the morning it will be filled, ready for you to go. Once everything's tight, including the glass, we ensure that it's locked together because we put now the vessel onto there. And what we've got, we've now got it built up. But to ensure that the miners couldn't just do what we spoke about earlier, breaking it back down, it's mechanically locked. So what we've got is a magnet in our lamp room that pulls the pin down, this slides across, once it's locked tight, like this one is here, this cannot be opened. Because if you try to open the lamp, what you would find is that instead of it opening, that little bar will stop it and the lamp can't be opened. So it's fully sealed and working. In its early days, like we spoke about earlier, the lamps were first invented so the miners could use it simply for the light. But miners been miners found out they could use this lamp for something much different. And they would actually use it to test for gas. Again, the type gas that they're looking for, the methane, which is an explosive gas, they're gonna look on to this lamp by using a very, very small flame. This is called a testing flame. And what will happen now is any gas present in the air, in the mine, when it goes over the top of the flame, will react on that flame and the gas cap will get bigger. A lot of people don't also realise that this lamp can be used to ensure there's sufficient oxygen in the air. And the miners this time will put on a nice big flame like this. And what they're looking for is a gas that miners refer to as black damp. Black damp is basically any gas that will actually take the oxygen out of the air and it tends to be carbon dioxide down the pit. This gas tends to be heavy, tends to lay on the floor of the mine, so the miners 
we'll put on a big flame like this and they'll lower it slowly down to where they think there's any gas. If you've got your black damp that's taken oxygen out of the air, what it will do, it'll affect the flame by making it much, much smaller. It could even go small enough to die it out and that will be in a great danger for the miners underground. So these lamps have saved thousands and thousands of coal miners' lives. Modern miners today, like at this coal mine we're at today, use both the lamp and one of these. It's an Altair and it's a device that will test for four different gases, so between the two, the miners underground can make sure they're safe. Which one do they prefer? Well, you'll find that a lot of the old miners will prefer this one, because like, this one requires a battery and it needs to be calibrated, whereas this one just it relies on the experience of the miner's eyes. Me personally, I prefer to carry them both. Thank you very much and I hope you found that interesting.